Stephen Carpenter. I'm going to show you how I roll a joint. I learned this technique while I was in tour in Europe. This guy was rolling it and I was watching him do it. So I had just actually caught him doing it. I was looking at the way he was doing it, but it was reversed to me because I'm on the, uh, I'm the spectator of it. But I ended up rolling opposite of what he did. I didn't realize what he was doing. I, I perceived it a different way. So got my grinder here. Put my little herb up in here. A little, a little crack. This is not an important thing to do, but after I break it all up, I just get it into a nice little pile so I know what I'm working with, you know, amount-wise here. I have some funky field tips here. I have four different sizes and colors, and I also have the raws. I'll do one of each because a paper tip is not the same as a glass tip. You, you do have to give it a little different attention, but we'll start with the glass. I use the king size element papers. These are my favorites. Other people like their own little thing. This is what I like. Now, uh, here, the paper, as I pull it out, the glue is right here, and it's currently facing me. But when I roll, I, like I said, I learned from a different perspective. I thought I was, look, you know, I was watching the guy roll with the glue facing away from me. So now you guys can see the glue. So I start with, get my tip in there, give it a little lick, try to dry it off, but keep it there. So that way I get a little extra traction with it. Start with a little bit, get the tip down there. And I'm just making it wide, just wider than the actual tip itself. I'm not trying to pack it with as much as I can. You know, you can if you want, but it's gonna be a little more of a challenge. It's kind of already got a cone amount in there. It'll taper, you know, naturally as I twist it up. So what I'll do from here is I'll give it a little tap like that, and then I'll start at the tip. Sticking out a little bit, you can see that. And then I'm just twisting the paper, you know, it's the paper itself is the dollar bill that everybody's used in their lives to roll their joint. And I'm just doing it hard enough to actually feel the weed take shape. In there, it's got its own, you know, it's already ready to go. Perfect, you know, the weed itself is already shaped up and ready to do its thing. So get a last little touch here. I can see the paper through the backside here, so I know when I'm getting down onto the top of it. And that's all I'm doing is I'm holding the paper right on the top, but I'm stretching left and uh, left and right, and the corner goes in there. And see, the corner's already in there, the joint. I just let it slide around the cell, you know, the paper itself. It's just a matter of, of pulling left and right, and as you, as you stretch it out, the little twist in there tucks the corner in there, and that's what it'll make for the roll. So here we are, we're already all twisted up, licked up, and we need to just start tap it, tap it down and get it in there, even it out. Take one of our other tips, give it some little taps down in there. Take our little pile of excess here that we've got, scoop it up. Use our tip again. Pan, I use a pan most of the time, but I got tips right now. That excess paper right there is good for a nice little wick too, gets it going real quick, give it a nice little burn. Get a good even cherry on there and enjoy. And that's how you roll a joint right there. Enjoy that. Good luck.